Hey y'all, Mike here from All American Reviews, and today I'm talking about how to find all of your coffee making supplies made in the USA. All right, so we got a lot to talk about in this video, so I'm just gonna jump right into it, covering our usual topics on what to look out for when you're shopping for coffee supplies, my top picks for a variety of categories, and make sure to stick around to the end of the video where we'll be uncovering where some of the biggest brands in the coffee supplies industry are actually made. Now, I've also written about this exact same topic per usual, so you can check for links to those articles in the description below, or you can just Google All American Reviews Coffee and you should see those articles there. Now, if you're passionate about buying American-made products, make sure to like and subscribe and head over to allamericanreviews.com. There you're gonna find a ton of research and buying guides on shopping American-made. Alrighty, let's get into today's video on how to find coffee supplies made in the USA. All right, so we're gonna switch up the format, kind of like we did in our camping gear video a little while back and talk about our tips for material sourcing and my top picks for different types of coffee supplies all in kind of the same section since there are a lot of different categories to cover. We're just going to go category by category and keep it nice and organized. If I miss any of your favorites, make sure to leave a comment below. And for some more general tips on Made in the USA labeling and how to spot American-made products when you're shopping, make sure to check out my explainer video, which I've linked in the description below, as well as the card at the top of this video. So without further ado, let's kick it off with coffee mugs. So coffee mugs are pretty easy to find made in the USA since the raw materials are readily available and the manufacturing process is pretty straightforward. Now there are a bunch of different types of coffee mugs that you're going to encounter. Probably the most popular material that is used in mugs are ceramic mugs. Now these are great and really popular because they're really solid and sturdy. They have a high temperature tolerance and they have a very neutral flavor. So there's not gonna be any of that kind of metally or uh, earthy taste that comes off of the mug into your coffee. It's gonna be really clean taste. In terms of top options for ceramic mugs, check out American Mug Pottery. They're one of my absolute favorites. They are made in East Liverpool, Ohio, and they have a ton of classic styles. So whether you want more of a bistro style or kind of that classic diner feel to your coffee mugs, American Mug Pottery has a lot of great options. I also love Etsy for finding just kind of your classic ceramic coffee mugs. There's a lot of really awesome local and small artisans on that platform that are making great mugs that are made in the USA. All right, moving on to stoneware. This is actually a type of ceramic, but is fired at a much higher temperature. So it is a lot more durable. Generally, there are a lot of really good options for stoneware that is made in the USA. I've covered some of these options previously in my videos on how to find other kitchen items that are made in the USA. So make sure to check out those videos, which I will link below and in the cards above. But a couple of good options for stoneware that are made in the USA. One is Stoneware & Co. They were founded in 1815 and have a ton of really cool options for coffee mugs. Emerson Creek Pottery is another really good option. They were founded in 1977. They're based in Virginia. They have a lot of really good earthy styles and patterns, so make sure to check them out as well. All right, so ceramic and stoneware are, like I said, your more popular materials when it comes to coffee mugs, but I did want to cover some other types of coffee mugs as well. So starting with stainless steel, this is typically a little bit better for traveling. You want to look for something that is BPA and lead free, and your higher quality stainless steel is, of course, going to be sourced from the US. Now there are a couple of good options when it comes to metal style cups that are made in the USA. One of my favorites is the original tin cup, which I have a couple in my cabinet. Now we've been trying to get in touch with them to order direct through their website, which isn't working right now, but you can still buy them on Amazon or on madeinamerica.co. Glass is another popular material that's used in a lot of coffee mugs, a bit more of a classier look, but you wanna look for tempered glass here, which is going to give it that higher temperature and tension tolerance which is obviously better for hot drinks like coffee. Now, one of my favorite glass manufacturers that is making some coffee mugs that are made in the USA is Anchor Hocking. They've been made in Ohio since 1905. Now, if you're looking to fill out your china cabinet and looking for more porcelain mugs, which is basically just a fine particle clay, Pickard China is one of my favorite manufacturers here. They were founded in 1893 and are based in Antioch, Illinois. All right, that's enough on mugs. Let's move over to coffee makers. 
Now this is where finding 100% made in the USA where all materials inside the products are also sourced here it gets a little bit tricky. So we're gonna go through some popular types of coffee makers and talk about each one. All right, let's start with traditional electric drip coffee makers. Now these are probably some of the most popular types of coffee makers in the US. Thus, there are a lot of imported products within this category. Now you may recognize brands like Mr. Coffee and Hamilton Beach that are in this category. We'll talk a little bit more about them later. But in terms of American made options, it's pretty slim pickings. The only major American made brand within this category is Bun and they do only assemble a lot of their coffee makers here with some imported materials. So check out their Speed Brew line in particular. Pretty much all of those are assembled here and they fall into kind of that, like I said, traditional electric drip coffee maker category. Now Bun also assembles some thermal coffee makers here as well. So if you're unfamiliar with this type of coffee maker, it's basically similar to a traditional electric drip, but has an insulated thermal carafe that keeps your coffee warm without cooking it on the hot plate. So like I said, Bun has some options here, but they are only assembled here with some imported materials. All right, let's move on to the French press. Now these are super easy to use, super easy to clean, and generally just less complex than your traditional electric drip coffee maker. So less materials, no really electrical components within the French press. So there are some good American made options. One of my favorites is the Red Rooster Black Thermal Coffee Press. Now Red Rooster has a ton of awesome coffee supplies. I'm going to mention them a couple of times throughout the rest of this video, but their Black Thermal Coffee Press is a great kind of French press style coffee maker if you're looking for something of that variety. If you're looking for more of a pour over coffee maker, Red Rooster is a good option there as well. Their pour mason is really easy to use and produces a great cup of coffee. All right, let's move on to cold brew coffee makers. Now, similar to some of the other types of models that I mentioned, these are super easy to use, very manual, and it's really easy to source the materials that make a cold brew coffee maker from the US, but there actually aren't too many great American made options in this category. Filtron is really the only notable option here. They make a nice cold brew kit that's pretty easy to use. All right, so rounding out coffee makers, there's some other good manual options here as well. More your smaller travel varieties. In my opinion, AeroPress is kind of in a category of its own here. Now I have an AeroPress Go Travel Kit that is my go-to when I am going on camping trips or just going on other travel and I wanna bring my coffee maker with me. This thing is super easy to use, obviously very compact, and look out for a full review from me on this kit in a future video. All right, let's move on to coffee filters. There are a few good options here. Starting with basic disposable paper filters, Tupkey and Melita are the top two options here. You probably see them in virtually every single diner or office break room across the country. Melita actually invented the coffee filter back when they were founded in the early 1900s, but two good old reliable paper filter options here and you can buy in bulk with both. Moving on to reusable drip mesh filters. So these are basically a woven stainless steel, so you don't need to use one of those paper filters. Gold Tone is really the only notable option here. They make a lot of different custom fits for different types and brands of coffee makers. So you should be able to find something that fits the coffee maker that's already in your home. And just a few more rapid fire options for filters on specific models of coffee makers. So Chemex to start, actually makes their filters for the Chemex coffee maker in the USA. Their coffee makers specifically are not made in the USA, but the filters are just in case you already have a Chemex coffee maker. Able Brewing makes some coffee filters for the Chemex coffee maker as well, as well as the AeroPress model that I mentioned previously. And Red Rooster also makes a reusable coffee filter for their pour mason. All right, and the last major category that I'll cover is pretty much everything else. So stuff like pots, dishes, other essentials for home brewing kits, and anything else that you need at your coffee station at home. Starting off with pots, carafes, and dishes, just a couple of awesome options here. Stoneware & Co., which I mentioned in the coffee mugs section, also makes some great pots and dishes for storing stuff like sugar, coffee beans, 
other items that you might have at your coffee station at home. And then Fiesta Tableware Company is another great option here. They make a lot of really very colorful designs. You may have recognized them from my dinnerware video that I did a while back. They make a lot of great stuff for your kitchen, all made in the USA, including some good coffee making supplies. And then like I mentioned previously, Red Rooster Trading Company also makes some other great coffee accessories. So stuff like drip stands, homebrew kits, a lot of good jars and espresso tampers and other good supplies that you may need in your coffee station. All right, now let's get to some of the big players in the industry and where they're actually made. First up are Keurig coffee makers made in the USA. So Keurig got bought in 2016 by a large private equity firm and then got subsequently merged with the Dr. Pepper Snapple company in 2018 and is now randomly the third largest beverage company in North America. Needless to say, pretty much all of their stuff is imported and made in China. So no, not made in the USA. Next are Nespresso machines made in the USA. So Nespresso is a Swiss company. Most of their machines are made in Switzerland, Italy, Hungary, China, and a bunch of their other manufacturing centers around the world. Next are Cuisinart coffee makers made in the USA. And the answer is no, most Cuisinart products are made in China and France these days. Now I have a full write-up on Cuisinart, the company as a whole, on All American Reviews. So again, I'll link that in the description below for you to check out if you'd like to learn more about Cuisinart. And lastly, are Mr. Coffee Machines made in the USA? And the answer is no. Unfortunately, these classic coffee makers are now made in China. All right, that's it for this video on how to find coffee making supplies made in the USA. If you have any questions, make sure to drop a comment below or shoot us a message at All American Reviews and I'll help find an answer for you. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe. And thanks for supporting your country and shopping American made. See y'all next time.